if there is proper production and spread of surfactant if there is proper production and spread of surfactant in all these areas then surface tension will be increased or decreased decrease if there is enough surfactant in every alveoli then surface tension in every alveoli will be less is that right then surface tension will be reduced in every alveoli tendency to collapse is less and tendency to expand is more because if alveoli are having less surface tension then you can this shrinking capacity is shrinking tendency is collapsing tendency or shrinking tendency is less in the presence of surfactant under these circumstances you can easily distend the lungs or difficult yes it's easy if it's easy to distend the lungs it means lungs are less compliant or more compliant so it means surfactant presence make the lungs more compliant to the pressure changes is that right this is good for the muscles of inspiration or bad it's good so actually when there is enough surfactant with proper spread right surface tension overall in all alveolar system is less collapsing tendency is less shrinking tendency is less of course whole lung is less stiff or we can say elastic recoil of the lung is less elastic recoil of the lung is due to multiple factor of course elastic recoil of the lung is also due to elastic elastic and collagen fibers but elastic recoil of the lung is also due to surface tension and that is what can be reduced by the presence of surfactant so whenever surfactant is present in good amount work of breathing will become more or less yes less right so this is a very big advantage of surfactant that reduce surface tension reduce collapsing pressure reduce and eventually that will increase the compliance and that will lead to reduce work of breathing am i clear there is any problem up to this this thing is classically seen in a condition called respiratory distress syndrome in infants actually surfactant surfactant is produce, uh, produced in the lungs at what of course during the intrauterine life at in around which week surfactant start producing or very good around 24th week surfactant start producing in the lungs right but in the beginning surfactant is very less reasonable amount of surfactant is present in the lungs in the fetus and fetus is more than 35 week right so it means surfactant synthesis start around 24th week and it keep on building until 25th week right and then 25th week and onward usually there is enough surfactant in the lungs of the fetus is that right if baby is born okay why at the very end of pregnancy surfactant is produced in high amount the reason being production of surfactant depends on maternal levels of glucocorticoids and maternal levels of glucocorticoid show a big surge maternal levels of glucocorticoid show a significant rise uh, in the last weeks of pregnancy so even though uh, synthesis of surfactant start around 24th week but as Uh, baby is getting near the full term surfactant production become very high right and by the time 35th there is enough surfactant now if baby is born after the 35th week usually there is enough surfactant but if unfortunately baby is born before that right especially when baby is born before 37th week we say there is premature birth and if premature birth is really very premature it means even less than 35th week then amount of surfactant may not be enough and if a baby is delivered prematurely and if amount of surfactant is not enough what will be the problem problem will be that if there is not enough surfactant then alveoli of the baby will be sticking with each other actually baby is born without surfactant or with surfactant 
The moment baby is born, uh, lungs are collapsed. Is that right? But as soon as you cut off, what is that thing? Umbilical cord and maternal oxygen supply stop. Baby develops some degree of hypoxia. That triggers the respiratory neurons in medulla. And those give a powerful stimulus to diaphragm and other inspiratory muscles. And then baby very strongly contract the muscles of inspiration and expands the chest and expands the lungs. And that is when air rush in the first cry. Do you remember that or not? Okay. You have a good memory. Right? So, that is what is first cry. Now let's suppose if baby is born with very little surfactant, what will happen? When baby is born with very little surfactant, lungs are collapsed, surface tension is extremely high, when you will cut the, what is that, umbilical cord, hypoxia will develop, that will activate the low oxygen and high carbon dioxide will activate the medullary inspiratory centers and there will be strong stimulus for inspiratory muscles. Baby's diaphragm and other inspiratory muscles should contract strongly, but if there is no surfactant, do you think baby's muscles are something like cranes? No. If this is strongly sticking, can baby's infantile muscles can really open the alveoli which are very sticky because they don't have the surfactant? No. So alveoli will not open properly. Is that right? Or even if they open a little bit, right? As soon as air goes in, a little bit alveoli open, as soon as baby will do expiration, air will come out and alveoli will again stick. So baby has to do extra work of breathing because such baby's lung is less compliant or more compliant? Less compliant. Is that right? And baby will develop respiratory distress. And we call it respiratory distress syndrome. Am I clear? No problem up to this? Okay. 